Yo, what's good everyone? Today we are unboxing the newest Air Jordan 1 Court Purple Women's Shoes. Came out in the 80s, a remake on the Metallic Jordans. We are unboxing this one. I'm letting you know if you should sell or hold this one today. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Like I said, we are unboxing a fire Air Jordan 1. Just came out actually today. You know we got it in hand early. I said I was gonna make this video for you guys and we're gonna break down this shoe today. Basically, we're just gonna go through the shoe, kind of the release, how I hit on these, how I did also today with other pairs. We'll go through the shoe. I'll break down um, the box, the upper, midsole, all that good stuff with the shoe. So some B-roll. And then at the end of the video, you're gonna wanna stick around because that's when I will do the resale guide with these pretty important for this one. This one has some prices that have fluctuated huge. And so I'm going to break that down at the end of the video. Make sure you guys stick around for that. And also hit that subscribe button right there, right there. Leave a big like on the video, but let's get into these shoes today. All right. So the Air Jordan 1 women's court purple just dropped today. Like I said, dropped alongside a couple other Nike Dunk lows too. We'll be unboxing those ones for you too later. But for this video today, we're talking about this one right here. It came out June 3rd retailing at 170 we did have women's sizing no extended size just women's sizing and then we had preschool sizes and toddler sizes in this shoe right here i was pretty excited for this one since we saw that the metallic shoes were coming back if you guys don't know these came out in 1986 we had the purple pair orange green blue just this big pack right here and i think they're gonna keep bringing out all these over time they started off with this purple pair here and i love the core purple vibe on it i think they did such a nice job really stays true to the og design on the shoe as far as the release that happened today um numbers were a lot lower than i expected i expected over 100,000 stock looked like stock all across the board was about 50,000, so not bad but pretty limited honestly for this shoe especially with no extended size run we didn't see more stock going there and then they also had the toddler and preschool to add on to that too um, so foot sides, foot locker champs, they had about 5,000 ish pairs, not very many at all. Pretty tough to hit. They had perma queue up basically the whole time. Tough to cop unless you have a super nice bot with the best proxies, honestly. So that was a tough cop. And then shoe pals actually loaded up about 400 pairs. So that was, um, doable. Honestly, it was, it was still tough, but that was a site that you could definitely hit on and overall stock was pretty slim nike sneakers was definitely your best chance if you're going for these for personal or to even sell and this one actually i got early nike sneakers blessed me with this pair right here we're gonna be unboxing this one like i said it was a pretty slim stock all around the board so happy we do have these in today to break down so the women's court purple air jordan one this metallic shoe did come back in the 80s like i mentioned and they stayed pretty true to the design, even down to the box, the laces, um, everything that has to do with the shoe they did really good with. I really liked it. We saw this pair um, kind of rumored to come out earlier this year and they said it was gonna be a summer release. They actually stayed on time, no delays here. We had this one come out June 3rd today, like I said. And first off, just taking a look at the box, this box goes nuts. I absolutely love the white detail as well as the metallic purple like kind of shimmer on there if you can kind of see that i love that design all around the box you have it on the nike on like every side and then on the inside too show bio right here but you can see the wrapping on the inside is kind of like that see-through translucent paper with the air jordan logo just a fire box and that's definitely one of my favorite parts with this shoe taking these ones out right here Jeez, look at those these are nuts and now nah, I mean, just look at all the details on that the outsole the upper just the soft leather you can see how nice and buttery this leather is on the shoe and the upper is composed of that white leather base all around and then the purple um, metallic sock liner as well in person the leather feels actually really nice on the shoe towards the the middle panels as well as up mainly on this upper on the collar right here feels really nice it does feel a little weird kind of up here on the toe guard, mud guard, and the um, toe box right here too. So it could be a little better, a little more softer, maybe more of a tumbled leather. It is tumbled, but it's not super tumbled like a, like the Royal Toe leather. You guys know I talk about that shoe all the time. And then as well as the um, tongue is a little bit interesting. They tried to do that same kind of super soft tumbled on there, and it is very soft actually. It just kind of looks a little off on the shoe i don't know but they did stay really true to the og design and then on the inside you can see too sock liner is going to be that um like satin purple color as well as the back side of the tongue 
Next up, the midsole is composed of that same white to match the upper and the overall design of the shoe. I mean, just like the other metallic colorways, that midsole right there is just gonna match the upper and the upper is composed of just that all white color there. And it does look very nice. I think it bodes well. They didn't do anything super like different or even on the OD design, just kind of kept it simple to match the what they're trying to do with just the metallic purple here on the swoosh and then to match the outsole and just have it all kind of plain and white on the rest of the shoe. And the outsole matches perfectly with that core purple color along with the other parts on the shoe. Outsole is definitely what does it for me. I love that match right there. They color matched it very well. And even though the top swoosh and the sock liner is that shiny kind of satin material, it still bodes really well on the shoe. I mean, they didn't do super bad on anything as far as they just kind of kept it the same, even though it's basically just the OG um, metallic shoes with like different materials, with the PU wedge, blah, 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 all that stuff. But it's still the same shoe. I love the design, love the colorway, and I'm so excited to see the rest of the pack hopefully come out soon. Again, my personal favorite parts on this shoe, I really actually do like that tongue, and I love that the inside is that satin um, purple, court purple material and color as well. And then, of course, you guys know this box. I'm all about the boxes. This box is super nuts. I love the color on the box. Again, excited to see other colors come out, but resale is looking kind of bad right now on these. I'm not too sure why, because I love the shoe. It's an OG. I think there's a couple reasons why maybe it could be down so much, but let's take a look at resale prices. All right, you can see right here, the Jordan 1 High Court Purple in the women's color. And like I said, prices are pretty bad right now. This could be one of the biggest bricks, honestly, so far of a Jordan 1. And again, I'm not too sure why. The only reasons I can really see is, I know we did have um, stock come out early. People got early pairs backdoored. Um, and I know another reason is because of the not extended size. And I think if this one went up to like a 15 women's, 14 women's I think prices would be a lot better stock could be spread out a little bit more but with it just going to a 12 women's you can even see 12 women's is usually like the hardest size to get in a women's shoe most like coveted honestly is only going for 223 and that's not very much more than all the other prices which are about 210 and so sadly it's really not doing very well and so resell advice with this one it's tough because I know a lot of people do want this shoe and so if you got a couple pairs which it seemed like it wasn't too hard for like in-store reservations um, and Nike sneakers as well it feels like it wasn't too hard to get multiple pairs so basically just fill in pre-orders and stuff like that was probably the best move if you had people already looking for the shoe other than that I think the longevity of the shoe is going to do very well I don't think it's a bad hold at all because I think they will be bringing out the other um, colors I don't see why they wouldn't and it would make perfect sense for them to bring out the other colors so my advice with this one is if you really are low on capital we do have a loaded June July August definitely just sell them find someone you can even I don't know return them for same credit I mean they just they didn't do numbers that a lot of people thought they were gonna do they just have kind of tanked ever since um, people have gotten pairs and so that's gonna be one that you could just sell quick or my advice and what I think I want to do with them is to kind of aim for the same size and just keep collecting the pack and so i just want like the red the blue orange and just to try to build like the pack together so that's kind of what i'm going to be looking to do with these ones but either way if they're not going to go up too much within the next like year so definitely going to be one you're going to want to look to sell or maybe do what i'm doing and kind of get the pack of colors together but other than that today that's going to do it for the video guys thanks for checking out this video today Super grateful you guys are here today. If you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button before you leave the video today. If you made it this far, congrats, you did it. I'm super excited for these ones. Like I said, hopefully more colors be coming out. Again, the Nike Dunk Low video is coming out next with the Spartan Green and the Varsity Maze Michigan colorways. Excited for those to come in hand as well. But for the video, that is it. And we'll see you guys next time.